Hi, my name's Cheryl Gordon and I'm here at Bakufuso Funeral Home here in Thorold. And I'm here today for a wacky brainstorming session. Kelly Lydico, the co-owner here, has invited me. And so we're going to not do a paint and zip. We're not going to do a knit night. We're not going to do even a quilting bee. Tonight, today, we're going to do some really creative funeral planning. talking funeral planning <laughs> and so I can have anything I want like anything well yeah sure pretty much um, we could park your prize Mustang out front uh, so that people could see it when you're going by uh, we had you could have an honor guard of uh, cyclists on procession to the cemetery we had one service where everybody wore a red ball cap because dad was an expos fan uh, and just recently we had an antique fire truck lead procession to the cemetery for a retired fire chief. Mm, that's cool. So what are some of the other things you could do for somebody like me? Oh, well, um, we could have a, 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 some musicians come in and play some acoustic sets if, mm. for the music lover. Um, something as easily as displaying your mom's favorite tea set. Um, that was something that was important to her. We want to the service to reflect what was treasured and important to you, to your loved one and to your family. Oh, that's wonderful. And I understand you really don't have to stop the celebration after the funeral. You have some wonderful ways to keep your loved ones close yes, for a absolutely. long time after. Let's yeah. have a look. All right. So, Kelly, these things are beautiful. Yeah, we have all different types of um, memorialization things that you can do. Uh, obviously, we can do personalized urns. This is actually a um, 3D custom printed urn. A 3D printed urn? Yeah. Can I touch it? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. So That's this, so wild. <laughs> this is a model of our, actually our boat. Okay. Um, we sent pictures to the company and they designed this model that is an urn. Oh. So we've done all oh. kinds of different um, types of this sort of thing, golf bags and transport trucks. That's cool. Yeah. And of course, there's always jewelry. Um, jewelry is uh, something that's become much more common. But it's not just for cremated remains anymore. Okay. So now you can have jewelry done with a fingerprint. It's a fingerprint. Yeah. Is that ever lovely? And also um, photos. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things I think is super cool is handwriting. Wow. That's like a secret code because kids don't learn handwriting anymore, right. you know? Right. That really will be a keepsake. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also then we have these, uh, these stuffed animals. So these are made from people's clothing. So I rescued mm -hmm. one of Rick's shirts from the closet. <laughs> And, um, and we had these made, Look so uh, the company called Stitching Memories, and they um, do all the embroidery and create Great these fun. lovely little keepsakes for oh, us. Isn't that nice? So really the takeaway here is this conversation doesn't have to be boring, it doesn't have to be upsetting, um, it can be creative and fun. And actually I'm reflecting and I'm thinking my girlfriends and I do talk about this. We plan our funerals, like the food or the music, the way we used to talk about weddings in the old days. Yeah. <laughs> So Kelly, thanks so much for having me over. This was awesome. We'll have to do it again. <laughs>